Parasites. Wonderful topic to talk about. It's that topic that we absolutely must have conversations about, but uh, it's freaky, it's misunderstood. Uh, I've been parasite cleansing people for, um, for over a decade now, thousands of people, including myself, including my own family, and it's very, very, very real. So, you know, I titled this video, Everything You Need to Know About Parasites in 10 Minutes. Of course, there's uh, hours and hours and hours of content that we can talk about related to parasites, but I wanted to give you some really, really key, important things you absolutely have to know when it comes to parasites so that you can decide for yourself if this is important for yourself and your journey, your family, other loved ones you know. Uh, number one, the reality is, is it really a problem? Absolutely, unequivocally, 100%, yes, it is a problem. This is not a third world problem. This is a first world problem. This is an America problem. This is a worldwide epidemic problem. You can look at the statistics of the number of people known to have different types of parasites. It's mind boggling. Uh, there's a small protozoan parasite called Toxoplasma gondii. It's estimated one third. How many people is that now? Three billion? I don't know, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of people um, are known to have this one parasite. So parasites are a problem, not just animals, but absolutely in human beings. I believe it's one of the main root causes of chronic illness and disease. If you have a diagnosed disease condition, you've been chronically ill for years, it's pretty much a guarantee that you have parasites. So you really, really need to pay attention and work with somebody who knows how to help people with parasites and find them because it's very, very, very real. I could sit here and tell you stories for hours of people I worked with where parasite cleansing has absolutely changed everything and it's changed their lives. So uh, what tests check for parasites? There's a few, there's different stool tests and things out there. I wanna mention a couple specific markers I wanna talk about Eosinophils in blood work is one of the main ways to check. Now, is that 100% mean parasites? Not necessarily, but an extremely good high likelihood that eosinophils in your blood work is telling you that you have a parasite problem. You can compare that with a stool marker in a stool sample. We use the gut zoomer by Vibrant, but it's called fecal eosinophil protein X. Again, this would be eosinophils, but in the stools related to intestinal parasites. And then we have the old pulse test. Do you feel a pulse? You have parasites. Haha, <laughs> that's a joke, kinda, but not really, because it's, uh, again, it's an absolute reality that the majority of the human population has parasites. So those are the three tests. Those are ways you can check, work with uh, myself, one of our practitioners, another natural healthcare practitioner to see if you have parasites and learn what to do about it, because it's real. Number three, I guess I'm numbering these things, uh, types of parasites. Where are they found? How do we get them? I, I get this question from everybody, so I want to address it. You're encountering them all the time. Anytime you encounter fecal matter, especially with cats, dogs, people love their pets. Cats are the notoriously worst for parasites. I'm sorry for you cat lovers out there. If you've ever lived on a farm, uh, dealt with farm animals, eaten sushi, traveled overseas, eaten anything that was undercooked, and the list goes on. So. We encounter these things on the regular. We encounter them throughout our lives. We swim in lakes and ponds and we pick up parasites there. That's happened to our family. Uh, people get Girardia and different infections from uh, lake-borne 
uh, parasites from, again, just encountering something new that your body's not used to. So yes, it's a problem because everybody's encountering them, but because parasites are so sneaky, and parasite means to dine at another's table, that they don't want you to know that they're there and living and surviving inside your body, which I know is an absolutely disgusting thought, but an absolute uh, reality. So. There are intestinal parasites, they're the big ones, there's hookworms, there's whipworms, there's ropeworms, which can be controversial because is that really just mucoid plaque? You can look that up. Tapeworms, uh, there's um, pinworms that people get. And then there are lots of little 70% of parasites are microscopic. So small, you can barely, you can't see them with the naked eye, you need a microscope. And that's the majority of parasites. So these are the little sporozoa, protozoa that are in your blood, in your tissues, in your organs. They can get systemic throughout the entire body. They can be, yes, in your brain. They can be anywhere and everywhere. There's books written on this. This is nothing new. People have known about parasites for thousands of years. It's biblical. Um, Dr. Hulda Clark wrote books about it in the 80s related to all kinds of different chronic illnesses and diseases. And so, yeah, you want to check, find out, know if you have parasites. So I'm on number four, why cleanse? Because parasites are destructive. And these are the examples I give my clients that I'm talking to. So I want to give it to you and I'm going to give it to you uh, on the real because you just need to hear these things even though it's gross. Parasites will steal the life from you. They will consume your iron. They're even known to consume neurotransmitters like serotonin. They will steal your food and they will take it and convert it into toxinous, poisonous waste that they continue to dump in your body over and over as they reproduce. Yeah, it's gross, but you have to get these things out of your body. They are destructive to uh, humanity. And yes, I hear people argue like we all have parasites and we need it and we should have a symbiotic relationship with them. And yeah, I mean, I get it, but parasites are hurting people because they're the wrong kind, they're overgrown, they've taken over the system and they are out of control and they are causing lots and lots and pain of, and damage. Those toxins that they produce will cause degenerative damage to tissues and organs over time. And so a lot of <clears throat> tumors and cysts and fibroids and different things found in people are often found to be parasites. So uh, why cleanse? For thousands of years, people cleansed parasites. Uh, you go to a farm, uh, people didn't go to the doctor all the time. They lived kind of out on their own. They would parasite cleanse on the regular. They would do this once, twice a year with their whole family. They would use castor oil. They would use even things like alcohol or combining castor oil and alcohol. They would use herbs like black walnut and wormwood. They would find a way to cleanse parasites out of the people, children, adults, all humans, in addition to their animals. We should not just be doing it with our animals. We should be doing it with our human loved ones as well. And so you have to cleanse because they don't just come out. You have to get them out. You have to clear them out. You have to kill them, get them out. You have to change the environment inside of your body. So I believe you need to cleanse and you not just think that this issue is going to go away somehow on its own. You need to help your body clear these things out. So who needs to do it? Everyone needs to do it. I really believe that. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say every single person has parasites, although the reality is when I have people parasite cleanse that I work with, I could strongly say that I feel like four out of five people get a benefit from it, whether it's a mental, emotional benefit, whether it is a physical benefit, whether symptoms disappear, their mood changes. Uh, I absolutely see the majority of people benefit from doing parasite cleansing. Now, if somebody does a parasite cleanse and there's no results, nothing happens, they don't notice anything, they don't have the eosinophils and all the things in the blood work and the stool like I talked about, great, okay, let's move on. 
you know, we people have multiple issues. Um, but if large parasites or even the small parasites aren't an issue, then pr praise God, we'll move on and work on other things. So what type of a treatments are effective? I believe, is that number one, two, three, four, five? Okay, what treatments are effective? I believe that herbals are extremely effective for parasites. And I don't wanna uh, go down every single herb. There's all kinds of great formulas out there. We primarily use Cellcor, I think it's the best. I love all the Dr. Morse products. I think Dr. Clark has done a great work with parasites. There's uh, equipment that helps with parasites. We use a Rife machine. We use ion detox foot baths. People have seen parasites come out of their feet from doing ion detox foot baths. Our sinus spray called cleansing sinus spray. People have seen parasites come out of their nose, even parasites come out of people's eyes. Again, I know it's freaky. It's like a movie. It's like some science fiction book. No, it is reality. And it is because we live in a fallen world and our bodies are sick and we can change the environment inside of our bodies to rid our bodies of these things. So herbal treatments are effective. There's different therapies that are effective. We utilize all varying different of therapies here at Spirit of Health uh, to help with that and herbal treatments and cleanses and different protocols. Uh, I believe fasting's also helpful, intermittent fasting. I believe diet does matter because there are certain things that parasites absolutely hate uh, that you can add to your diet that'll help get rid of those things as well. So yeah, it really is a battle. It's a battle over your own body of clean versus unclean. We must get the unclean, toxic, not of God things out of our body for our bodies to be well and for our bodies to flourish the way God intended that to happen. You can use pharmaceutical drugs. Interestingly, ivermectin's been very popular lately with uh, different treatments, uh, abendazole, mabendazole. Uh, there's different uh, pharmaceuticals out there that people have utilized and you know that's okay. I'm not a big fan. I don't like the negative side effects and the toxicity that they can cause to the different organs. And I think natural treatments are every bit as effective. And so, uh, yeah, just keep those different options in mind. So the last point I was gonna mention was just myths and misconceptions. Uh, kind of covered one of them, but uh, that it's not really an issue. It's not really an issue in this country. That's something that happens in third world countries. I absolutely believe that's a myth. Uh, a myth, I think, is that one cleanse is all you need, that you're somehow gonna do one parasite cleanse and all the parasite issues are gonna disappear. Um, I see p people parasite cleansing for months, for big parasites, sometimes up to three months coming out of their stools. And then I have seen people parasite for months and even years related to systemic parasitic infection that's in the blood, tissues, lymph, organs, uh, completely uh, weakened immune system. And that person just needs a lot of help over a lot of time. So I do not believe one cleanse is enough. It might be in some rare circumstances because somebody picked something up, they took something, they nailed it right away. Uh, the same example of like if somebody took an antibiotic for an acute situation. So I'm not saying it's not a possibility, but uh, in the chronic illness cases, people that have been sick for 10, 15, 20, 25 years, you have deeper issues going on, parasites, very highly likely a main part of the problem. And so that you're gonna need to work on this for an extended period of time. And then the last uh, misconception or myth I wanna mention is that um, it's, it's, it's scary and um, it, it's, you're gonna get hurt or it's dangerous or you're gonna have to run to the bathroom all the time. And I haven't seen any of those things. Now, I will say it's weird and it's gross and it's hard to talk about and it's freaky seeing this stuff come out of our stools. I've had people, you have to pull stuff out because it's so long. Yeah, I mean, just crazy things, but like, let's get them out. We don't want them in there. That is what's causing sickness and disease, hurting people, killing people, damaging people. So let's get the stuff out. But it is not scary in the sense of um, that, you know, weird, crazy things are uh, going to happen. Like you kill them, they come out in your stools, you feel better. Like ideally, that's the goal. Some people who are chronically ill, yeah, it takes a lot 
more work and time and effort or you have to go slow or people can have reactions. So you do need to be mindful, you need to be cautious. These herbal medications and therapies are very, very strong. Um, but it is something that I believe is doable for every person. It helps to have some, some guidance. That's where I like to come in and just helping guide people through the processes of taking care of these issues in their body, depending on what it is and how serious it is and what kind of parasites they have and what kind of treatments I think that they need. Um, but we can do it in a way that's not scary. Again, it's weird, it's gross, but uh, it, doesn't have to, uh, it doesn't have to debilitate your life or your daily function. You should still be able to go to work or school or do the things that you do and do a parasite cleanse at the same time. And I've been doing it a long time and I've seen a lot of people greatly benefit from it. So that's it. I hope this helps. This gives you some really key things you need to know about parasites. I encourage you to get checked out yourself, go deeper, go see someone about this issue, uh, or just do, get a parasite cleanse and, and do it once or twice a year for yourself, for your family, see what happens. The worst that can happen is nothing. The best that can happen can absolutely change your life. So get to parasite cleansing.